Welcome to Grand Dunes Golf Club here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, our third stop in Myrtle Beach on our 5,000 mile golf road trip down the East Coast up to the Midwest. Really excited to show you guys what this golf course has to offer, the pro shop, practice facilities. Then we're gonna go out, play 18 holes, come back, debrief, give this course a score. Let's see what it has to offer. Really excited, let's go. So let's take a look at the pro shop here at Grand Dunes. Really nice, I think they just renovated it. And this place is super nice. They have clubs, shoes, even some Jordans, a bunch of different polos. You walk over here, more polos, sail racks, everything you could imagine, whole hat wall, sunglasses, belts. I mean, really solid pro shop here. They just renovated it, so definitely come stop in here, take a look around. The bathroom they have really renovated, really nice showers in here with curtains. Back along this other side, there's like standard locker room, lockers type thing with a, uh, another sink, so yeah, really nice, really renovated bathrooms here. So walking up to the practice facility here at Grand Dunes, they have a really nice full-size range here with a bunch of targets, and then also over there, there are two separate chipping areas with varying ranges of distances you can chip from and balls out there for you, and then a really large putting green, so just gonna hit some balls, loosen up but a really solid practice facility and even looks like a learning center right there. So out here at Grand Dunes, we got tailor-made normal range balls. It's your classic style. They're gonna have a lot of them. It's a resort style course. Myrtle Beach, you guys know, a lot of people come out here and play. So decent range ball. Swing a little bit, see what we got for today. So hole one out here at Grand Dunes. We're playing from the tips, by the way. It's like 7,500 yards, so it's gonna be tough. Long par four, 452. Grand Dunes here in Myrtle Beach. This is a long golf course. One of the harder ones we'll play on this entire trip. It is 70, almost 7,600 yards, rated a 77. What that means is, you know, if you're a scratch golfer on a good day, you'll shoot about a 77. And what's far? 72. So you'll shoot like five over on a good day if you're scratch. Wow. So it just kind of shows how difficult the golf course actually is. Okay. Oh, it'll go straight. It'll get lucky though. Oh, bouncy. Try to dial in the speed on the first. Oh, it just came out so dead. Get down there. Thought that was gonna be a lot shorter than it actually was. All right. Thank you. Yeah, that wind really did just pick up. I got four iron. It's probably gonna play like 230, honestly. Right where I wanted it. I just think it's probably short. Oh, it had some juice on it. Go, go. No, oh, I hammered it too. All right, tough little three putt, but it's okay. It's a long hole. So we have another long hole, 475, par four. Just keep it in play, keep it out in front of us. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah. So they redid all of their uh, fairways and greens. So the greens are really pure, really fast. So shout out to Grand Dunes for having us out, letting us film, getting the drone shots and all that good stuff. Be a fun video. There we are. That's uh, just not ideal, but you know, it'll be a chip out. Or be a little aggressive there. All right, we're out there, at least. Fade in. All right. Oh, I pulled it. That was just probably one of the biggest pulls of my life right there, actually. Well, here's what it is. Another boke. Pull four, long par five dog leg right. Just gonna take driver. Down the left side. Should be good. Oh, 
Oh, it really has to cover. No, just missed it on the right side. It'll be a drop, but at least we're hitting four. You can get up and down for par at least. So, so we hit it in the water. So we're hitting our fourth shot right here. Still can get up and down for par though. Mm. It's okay. So short. Another bogey. So hole five is a tight hole and it's 450 again. Got driver just because it's a long hole. It's straight into the wind today too. Where's, where's the fade? Oh my gosh, the yips. I'm just so yippy. All right, another I believe this is hole six, yeah, six. Little, almost drivable, par four, it's about 350. Some bunkers up there, pretty wide open though. There it is, sit. Sit. Get there. Little par. Hole seven is a quirky little par five. It kind of takes driver out of your hand because it narrows up there with some water. So I got a little five wood. Sit, please. So we're taking a drop because we hit it and not. So we have about 270, way downwind. Oh my God. So we're moving to hole eight, but back on hole seven, I think anytime they have a restaurant at the turn and you can actually order your lunch through the screen on the cart, which yeah. I think is pretty cool. That is cool. And they had like some good, you know, pub grill options. So, so this one's a doozy, 240, really 250, water short, water long, but downwind today. So I got four iron. Gonna hit some about 225, 230, just hope and pray it gets there. I mean, I hit that as good as I could have. So I hit that as good as I could have and it still came up short. But we're chipping. Oh my gosh. Wow, I actually didn't think it was gonna move that way. Man, just gotta get off the bogey train. Hole nine's 470, dead down wind. Uh, we got driver again, so. Thank you. So after nine, you can come back up here to the clubhouse. They have a nice bar and grill inside. Pick myself up a hot dog. Looks really good. But they have hot dogs, hamburgers, snacks, stuff like that, beers. So go check it out after nine. Now we're gonna head back out and try the back nine. See if we can do better. Stop bogeys. We got the hot dog. Really, really good hot dog. I mean, let me get another bite, huh? Get what I gave the last one, but. Because of this bun, it's sitting in the nines. This is a nine-two dog. Making the turn, hole 10. 450 down the hill, bit of a blind tee shot. But we got driver, downwind still. Should be good. Ah, it's just kind of like weird. It's gonna work out though. Oh man, thought we had it. Par. So we got a little par three here, playing about 177. A little eight iron, should be enough, hopefully. Wind's way off the right. Oh no, slidey. Oh, so much sand. Turn. 
salvaged a bogue. Hole 12 here, another long par four. It's like 440 something. A lot of wind in the face right now. Bunker's up there, requires a good drive. Oh. Hang on. Oh, came across the car pass. I mean, I hit it right where I was aiming, probably. Oh. I feel like it's definitely more frustrating to hit straight and be aimed poorly. Uh, I don't know, though, because, like, I know... Rather than be aimed at the right spot, but then hit it poorly? No, I would say it's the opposite. Really? At least for me, like, I'm okay with just hitting it straight. If I'm aimed bad and I hit it straight, that's... At least I know I put a good swing on it. Rather than, like, right. you know... See, I feel like I'd be frustrated because I'm like, well, if I just aimed it well, like the aim yeah. should be the easy part. Yeah. Swing's the harder part. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. That's just so short. Thank you. Oh, man. Needed that one. Hole 13, we got a par five. You just kind of get want to get something out there on the on the tee shot. Then you got water to mess with on the second one. It should be reachable though, but no trouble off the tee, first tee. Let's see what happens. I mean, that was a seven iron. Probably went 230, so. All right. All right. It's big. That's big. So we have a really cool par three over the water. It's a really skinny green. It's only like 190, but playing like at least 210, 220. I have a five. But I just think you gotta keep it low, no matter what you do. Go. It's right at it. Turn. Didn't move. It's like a par though. It's a very difficult hole today. Hole 15, it's straight into the wind today. It's a long par four, 468. Kind of straight away and goes down to the right. Oh. Can I get my gate ready? I'm gonna leave it up there. Definitely left it there. You definitely left it there. Yeah. You just take the car back. Alright. Looks really good. Set. Set. Pushed. Knew it when I hit it also. Another bogue. Hole 16 here. It's a nice one. It's only about 420 from back here. Got a five wood. Not a lot of trouble. Just important to get the ball in the fairway. Okay. Get down there. All right. Tied up and down for the first time in a long time. Hole 17 is a pretty cool hole. We got water down the left the whole way. Long par five, 578 today. Straight into the wind. So probably not getting there. Just need to keep it dry. Nope, that is right in the water. Well, we hit in the water off the tee, so we're dropping, hitting three from way back. It's like 329 yards. I'm just gonna hit a four iron up there, keep it in play. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just, uh, it's well right, very right. Go. Ah. All right. Hole 18 here out at Grand Dunes is a dog leg left. Uh, it's 442 from back here, but not that long just because of the dog leg. Gonna hit five wood. Hopefully, just keep it in play. It's the goal. Oh. 
Oh gosh. Oh. Get down there. All right, something happened there. All right, that is Grand Dunes. Uh, didn't play too great. You'll see the score on the screen, but appreciate you guys for watching. Let's go debrief and give this place a score. So now it's time to give Grand Dunes a score. The first category is playability. Could golfers of different skill levels come here and have a good time? And I really think they do. They have tee lengths from 5,300 yards all the way back to 7,700 yards, which I played it from. Uh, the greens are large, there's some run-ups. There's a couple of forced carries here and there. So overall, solid course, eight out of 10 for playability. Next is design. I think uh, in the Myrtle Beach area, this is pretty unique. You have some holes that are over water, uh, water down the left side. You have some wide open holes, dog legs, um, blind tee shots, stuff like that. Overall, really solid design, pretty unique to the area. It's gonna get an eight out of 10. Next is accessibility. You can book tee times up to 10 days out and kids under 16 actually can play free with a paying adult, which is pretty cool. Also, they are part of a package with other courses in the area. Um, and it seemed like we are at the end of May right now, it seemed like they were pretty wide open for some golf later this week. So you can book within a couple of days. So nine out of 10 for accessibility. Next is practice facility, and this place has a really solid practice facility. A huge range, you can hit all types of clubs, a nice putting green, two separate chipping areas. You I mean you can hit shots probably up to 80 yards at these chipping areas, a nice bunker, 10 out of 10 practice facility, even a nice learning center there. Next is the Pro Shop. They recently redid the whole inside area. The Pro Shop was phenomenal. There was different types of shoes, a wide selection of apparel, uh, different brands of apparel, sunglasses, belts, that stuff like that. I mean, great Pro Shop, 10 out of 10. Next is location, and we are in prime center, I would call it, Myrtle Beach. The beach is not too far away. There's a ton of different stuff to do in the area. This is where you wanna be if you're coming to Myrtle Beach, not too far from probably where you will stay if you come to Myrtle Beach, so 10 out of 10. Next is the condition. Uh, so at Grand Dunes, they recently redid all their greens resurfaced them uh, with new grass. The greens were running great, really fast. The bunkers they redid as well, and some of the fairways. Uh, so the condition was great. Uh, a couple of tee boxes were a little bit dry, but you know, overall for Myrtle Beach and the type of place that gets a lot of play, solid condition, eight out of 10. Next is accommodations. So they don't offer what you would say on-site accommodations, but again, we're in like prime center Myrtle Beach. There's a ton of different places to stay on the beach. You know, there's another hotel that's pretty close by as well. So even though they don't offer on-site stuff, plenty of places to stay, so it'd be an eight out of 10. Next is the food. There's a cart girl going around. We ran into her a few times out there. You can actually also order food on the screen in your cart on holes seven. So you can come and come back to the pro shop area and get them at the bar. There's a full service bar and restaurant inside. Food was great. Hot dog was awesome too. 10 out of 10 for food. Next, the final category is value, which I think is the most important. So to play here at Grand Dunes, uh, it is the end of May when we're playing it right now. It is $130, so it'll be placed in the $100 to $150 category, and I think it's a pretty solid place to play. It's it's a lot of fun, I would say, unless you play from the tees I played from. If you play from the right tee box for you, it's gonna be a lot of fun out here. You get great practice facilities, really nice people, great amenities as well with the food. So I would say value here at Grand Dunes is a nine out of 10. So that gives Grand Dunes a total score of 90 out of 100, and that places it here among courses in that $100 to $150 category, and here among the courses I've done thus far on this trip. Make sure to subscribe along because we have one more golf course to review here in Myrtle Beach, and then we're headed down the Hilton Head, our 5,000 mile golf journey. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so make sure to subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next one.